Good day everyone! I am Marjan Vigoro, third year student of Central Bicol State University of Agriculture under the degree program of Bachelor of Secondary Education major in English. And this is Epic 7, The Teaching Profession. To the future educators, are you bothered of handling this kind of students? So now we have f of x minus 5 equals x squared plus 7x. Alright. Algebra oh, <laughs> sucks! God, you horrible! <laughs> Are you bothered that you will be in a cage of the four corners of your classroom? Tired and worried. Okay. Um, so the reason why that you guys are going to be looking through this. <laughs> Don't be afraid because the law will protect you and tell you what to do. Under the Republic Act No. 4670, passed on June 18, 1966, its policy declares the promotion and improvement of public school teachers in social and economic status, living and working conditions, terms of employment, career, and prospect. The Magna Carta for public school teachers entails that a teacher must enjoy benefits, opportunity to study, freedom in organizations, additional compensation, and academic freedom. It should be enjoyed by all persons engaged in classroom teaching and any level of instruction on a full-time basis. It is the teacher's duty to discipline students and make sure that they would learn within your hand as long as you are abiding with the rules and regulations of Magna Carta. Code of Ethics for Professional Teachers adapted and promulgated by the Board of Professional Teachers through Board Resolution No. 435, Series of 1997. Pursuant to the provision of Paragraph E in Article 2 of Republic Act No. 7836, otherwise known as the Philippine Teachers Professionalization Act of 1994. Teachers are expected to be fair to all of their students and not to take advantage of their position in any way. The Magna Carta and the Code of Ethics for Public School Teachers will remove the bothersome to us, pre-service educators. Now, the question is, does it excite you to become a teacher? <laughs>